as Venezuela's political and economic crisis reaches a boiling point, has figured a workaround to a widespread shortage of money. The organization is donating cryptocurrency to Venezuelans in need, to buy groceries and household goods. We early on selected Venezuela as where we are going to work, primarily because money is so broken there, said Joe Waltman, executive director of Told Wi-Fi PM in an interview. The lack of food and money has worsened a crisis that's driven nearly 4 million of its citizens from the oil-rich Andean nation, according to the UN High Commissioner for Refugees. Those who can't leave the country are at extreme risk of starvation, as surging prices erode the value of Venezuela's currency. Meanwhile, works by recruiting on-the-ground ambassadors who will identify persons in need. Each participant will receive $10 paid in Ethereum, ETH, per week for six weeks. The organization will employ a field contractor to help recruit local vendors that accepts cryptocurrency payments and sell primary items like food and household supplies. We have people on the ground who are trusted, who understands the situation in their communities, Waltman told News Pulse Finance. We rely on them to select people that are in need, and we directly transfer cryptocurrency to the people who are ambassador select, he added. Volatile price swings in the crypto market might make give crypto solution seem curious. However, with an annual inflation rate at over 1 million percent, digital currencies like Bitcoin, BTC, are relatively more stable than the Venezuelan Bolivar. On the vendor side, it's not that hard of a pitch, Waltman explained to News Pulse Finance. If you go to a local corner store and say, hey, we are going to be distributing X people within 500 meter radius from your store, do you want to be the only place they can spend this, he asked. Most small business owners will jump at that chance. Some of the biggest donors so far are well-known figures in the cryptocurrency world including Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and former Mighty Ducks actor Brock Pierce, who is director of the Bitcoin Foundation. We expect the crypto community is probably the place to where we will be getting a good chunk of the donations, Waltman said. Our mission is in line with some of the early crypto people. Greet Suarez is producer at News Pulse Finance for Wi-Fi PM and The Ticker. Follow her on Twitter, at Greet Suarez Follow News Pulse Finance on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Flipboard, Smart News, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Reddit.